Hello, sports fans and football fans. We're going to do week two picks. I mean, you know, I do that every every week. And uh, week one is already in the books. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a really great week one. I was eight and eight. Eight and eight. And I just missed it by that much. Missed it by that much. <laughs> On a couple of games. There was an overtime game. There was a game that uh, the Colts should have had no... I mean, was that the overtime game? Well, that was an overtime game, but they lost to the Texans. They had no business losing to the Texans. Um... And my Lions didn't come through for me. I was very high on the Lions. Although they, they, again, they lost by a very slim margin. I'm still saying look out for the Lions. But guess who did win last week? <laughs> yeah, the Bears. <laughs> the Bears beat the 49ers. Now, I'm going to give a little, you know... I'm going to give a little bit to the 49ers. I mean, it was a, a torrential downpour for at least the fourth quarter and leading up to the game. So the field was probably abysmal and the rain was coming down. But as Shannon Sharp said, the Bears weren't playing in an, uh, you know, in a in a nice clean um, lecture hall. They were they had to play in the same thing. So anyway, um, yeah, eight and eight. All right, so let's get on with the picks for week two as I take my yearly record after one week out for a spin. So the first game we've got is the Chargers and the Chiefs. And uh, this game is going to be in Kansas City. Now, that new and improved Charger defense looks uh real good real good and of course um herbert is we know he's very good but mahomes passed for five touchdowns last week and the game is in kansas city so i am inclined to say go with kansas city kansas city we're going to go with kansas city in this one i think it's going to be a really good game but I am not willing to say that um, Kansas City, don't bet against Kansas City and Mahomes in this one. Um, I like the Chargers' new and improved defense with, um, you know, Khalil Mack um, being the opposite Boza, but I don't know. I think Mahomes is going to find a way to beat those guys. So now you got the Sunday game. That was, by the way, that was the Thursday game. That's the Thursday night game. So the Sunday games, we're going to start off with the Patriots and the Steelers. No, we're not. We're starting off with the Panthers and the Giants. That's who we're starting off with. And um, I was real happy last week to see that my man, Baker Mayfield, got beat. He got a beat down from his old team. And uh, the Giants, the Giants beat the Titans. And uh, this game is in New York. So I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here. And I'm going to say go with the Giants. We're going to pick the Giants in this one. And we're going to do that anyway because I hate Baker Mayfield and would love to see that guy lose again. So now... All right, now we're going to do the Patriots and the Steelers. And uh, this game is going to be in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh looked really good last week. The Patriots, no, they didn't. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. Let's go with the Steelers in this one. You can see the nice big Steeler helmet right there. We're going with the Steelers. Down with the Patriots. I think the Patriots are, I think they're on their way out. Is that something that's a thing? Because I think it is. 
the next one we've got is the um, Jets and the Browns. Now, no, we're going with the Browns. I mean, the Browns beat down their their main man, former guy, uh, Baker Mayfield. And uh, the Jets are still the Jets, and the Jets are even now with Flacco. Who knows what they're doing over there? So, yeah, go with the Browns in that one. The next one we're going to do that we come to is... Now we're going to do the Colts and the Jaguars. Now, of course, the Colts, they really let me down last week. They should not have lost to the Texans and... The Jaguars didn't look very good against the command. Well, actually, they did, but it was the commanders. So um, what I'm going to say here, though, and even though the Colts are on the road, I am still going to go with the Colts. I haven't lost faith in Matt Ryan and the Colts just yet. So let's go with the Colts in that one. Take the Colts to win that game. Next one we've got is the... Uh, Dolphins and the Ravens. Dolphins, Ravens, and this game is going to be in Baltimore. And uh, we are going to go with the Ravens. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the Ravens. Quote the Raven nevermore. I mean, I know that uh, the Dolphins looked impressive against the Patriots, but they always kind of do in Miami. So, um I'm going to go with the Ravens because the Ravens were real good last week. Next game that brings us to is the Bucks at the Saints. And in this one, I think I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. Now, even though this is in New Orleans, I'm still going to go with the Buccaneers. This is still Tom Brady. I'm not ready to bet against Tom Brady yet. Um, the Saints, they they kind of hit a different gear late in the game last week. But are you going to be able to do that against uh, Tom Brady and that uh, Tampa Bay defense? I don't know. Next game we have is the Commanders and the Lions. And I'm going to double down from last week, and I'm going to go with the Lions. We're going to pick the Lions to win this one. With the Commanders coming in and playing Detroit, I am still not giving up on Detroit. I am high on the Lions and what they got going on. And they only lost by three points to the Eagles. So, yeah, let's go with the Lions. Next one you got, Seahawks at 49ers. And just because, just because it's so fun, to pick against the 49ers, I am going to go with the Seahawks. I'm picking the Seahawks in this divisional rivalry and on the road in San Francisco. I am going to take Seattle. <laughs> yeah, get them out of here. So, uh, and besides, really, Trey Lance, I mean, he, again, he looked terrible in the preseason. And again, he didn't really look all that good against the Bears. In fact, he didn't beat the Bears. That's the ultimate not looking good. So, you know, until the 49ers have gotten him enough games under his belt to where he doesn't have that deer in the headlights look, you know, you got to pick against him. You got to. All right, the next one we're, we've got <laughs> is the... Falcons are at the Rams, and the Falcons let me down last week. I had them picked to beat the Saints, and they almost did it. They almost did it, but they didn't quite hang on and do it. And the Rams looked horrible against Buffalo, but we're going to still go with the Rams. I don't think I'm going to expect a repeat of that this week. So, yeah, get the Falcons out of here. Next game we're going to talk about is the um, Cardinals and the Raiders. Now, if you watched last week, neither one of these two teams looked very good. 
but the Cardinals looked horrible. Absolutely horrible. And, um, you know, Cliff Kingsbury even admitted that he doesn't really, he didn't really have them ready to play because he said they, they practiced poorly and that they need to practice better. So, yeah, I don't know how you can fix that in one week. And, um, they are on the road in Las Vegas. So I'm going to go with the Las Vegas Raiders in this one. Turn the helmet, get a good look at it. We're going with them. The Cardinals, who knows what's going on with them. Next one we have is the Texans at the Broncos. Now, there's a tendency to say, hey, the Texans really played well against Indianapolis. And so why don't we ride the Texans train? Okay, really, nobody is saying that. There is nobody saying that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Broncos. I think it's a safe bet to say that the Broncos should beat the Texans, um, especially at, at home in Mile High. Nobody can breathe. you got to go with them. All right, let's go. Let's move on to the now. This is going to be my lock of the week. If you have a lock of the week out there, let me know what it is. This is my lock of the week. The Bengals are visiting the Cowboys, and I am going with the Bengals. And I know the Bengals didn't look particularly great last week, but the Cowboys are horrible. The cow, I mean, they were playing bad when they had Dak, and now they don't even have Dak. So, I mean, what kind of game plan is uh, can we expect from Dallas? I'm anxious to see. So are a lot of Dallas fans. The next one we're going to talk about, the Bears at the Packers. My Bears. Big win last week in Chicago against San Francisco. But no, I think we're still going to go with the Packers in this one. I know the Packers look terrible against the Vikings, but really the Vikings, hey, newsflash, they're a pretty good team. So, um, the uh, and they were on the road. And, you know, we've seen this show before from the uh, Packers. They lose week one and then they win 13 of the next 16 games. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they do that again. They do have a rookie receiving core. And uh, they made some serious mistakes in the Vikings game, but I don't know that that would have even made a difference. So we're going to go with the Packers over the Bears. I think the Bears game was an aberration, aberration, ab something. I don't know. But anyway, um, I mean, it was in Chicago, terrible weather. They were playing a rookie, well, basically a rookie quarterback. I mean, he isn't really, but he hasn't played a lot of college games and he hasn't played a lot of pro games and he hasn't looked good. So I think that was kind of a confluence of the perfect storm for the Bears last week. I don't think, I don't foresee that happening against uh, them, uh, against the Packers in Green Bay. The next one we have is... The Titans and the Bills. Now, you remember, the Titans lost, and I'm going to say this, an embarrassment. They are an embarrassment. They lost to the Giants. There's not, I mean, I'm going to say this. You really shouldn't be losing to the Giants. I don't think they're that good. I mean, I don't. So I am going to go with the Bills. I mean, the Bills, you know, they, they handed L.A.'s ass to them on a, on a silver platter last week. And, you know, Vrabel, basically Vrabel, I think Vrabel should be fired. I, if I was a Titans fan, I'd be like, fire Vrabel. He doesn't have his team prepared a lot. Um, I mean, me and some of my friends from the neighborhood could beat the Giants. That brings us to the Monday night game, and that's going to be the Vikings against the Eagles, and I'm going to double down in this one, too, and I am going to take the Vikings to win. I'm going to take them to beat the Eagles. I know, I know the Eagles put up 38 points, but that was on the Lions, and I know yet there's a dichotomy there because I'm saying the Lions are a good team, but hey, still, 
let's see you do it against a good team that just whooped Green Bay. Then I'll be impressed. So, no, right now, based on everything I know, I'm going to take the Vikings. So, uh, how do you guys feel about those picks? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. I love thumbs up. So, if like 120 of you guys watch this video, or watch it twice, that would be awesome. I expect at least 120 thumbs up. So anyway, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am signing off.